It is always great catching up with my next guest, Kama Worthy, who is back in action against Trevor Peak, headlining Aries Fighting Series Amped on August 13th. Kama, how's it going, man? Uh, it's going good, man. Right now, so I'm trying to get there, trying to get to the gym without GPS. Let's <laughs> see if I can do this. <laughs> Hey, you're like a modern day MacGyver, man. I love it. Um, tell me how right? this all came together. <laughs> tell me how this all came together with uh, fighting for Aries uh, fighting series. Uh, when did you find out, and, and how did this all come together? Um, they actually hit me up like right after my last fight for two four seven. They uh, they asked me about. It. They want they wanted me to like, and I, it was like they were asking. It was like four months down the lane. I was like, I, I made a joke. I think I was like, I don't know if I'll be alive then. You know what I mean? So. But um, they, they kept asking. I told them I'll get back to them. Then I got back to them, and it just kind of went from there. Cool. Um, and you've had a great year so far, 2022, man. Back-to-back -back stoppage wins. Uh, how much are you kind of riding off that momentum going into this fight because you've been on a roll? Yeah, man. I'm just, just, um, just getting back to doing what I'm supposed to do, you know, back on the proper the proper way of doing things and uh, proper mentality when it comes to approaching the fights and stuff. So it's been a good year so far. I'd say so, man. Uh, you're fighting Trevor Peak. Uh, I, I I don't imagine you knew too much about him, but I'm sure you know about him now. How are you looking at this fight from a style perspective? Oh uh, yeah, he's he's a young, you know, young explosive guy. But you know, uh, I think that's that's what he has for me. He's, he's young. That's that's pretty much about it. Like, I don't really see much of anything else. I mean, like I say, he's he, he, I, I, everyone keeps saying he hits hard. I'm like every every fucking body hits hard. <laughs> and I, yeah. of course, he's going to hit hard. We get paid to hurt people. Like, everyone's going to hit. Or if you're a striker and you're a fighter, and you're probably going to hit hard. So, yeah, he, he hits hard. I mean, he's, like I say, he's explosive, and he's young, and he's confident. That's super dangerous. But, I mean, if I want to prove that I belong at the best in the world, I have to take guys like this and fold them in half, like, easily. This is the case with most of your opponents right now, but how much does experience played into this? I mean, you were in the UFC last year. He's never, you know, achieved that level yet. How much will that be an so, advantage for you? I mean, like, yeah, that, that I mean, in the fight game, I mean, in, in any sport in general, uh, uh, experience takes a big, takes a big toll in fighting. It's really, really takes a big toll. I mean, like you have to like, like you can't really make up for experience and stuff. You, you just, you don't really know it until you've experienced it. So, uh, yeah, but, but I mean, I think uh, I, I said I definitely think he's gonna come out. He's gonna be heavy. He's gonna be aggressive, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna look to try to, to try to make me uh, feel some pain. But I'm gonna have to make sure I, I stay on him. Who've been some of the main training partners for this camp? Uh, I know your brother just fought uh, not that long ago. I'm sure he was part of the camp. Who else did you get a chance to work with? Yeah, yeah, I've been training with him. Uh, I've uh, I've been training with Devontae Smith a whole bunch for this camp. Uh, uh, Nick Brown, and then, I, then I come out here to Vegas. Uh, everyone out here at Syndicate, I'm out here training at Syndicate. So I mean, like a lot, a lot of good people, a lot of, a lot of really good people back home. And then I come out here and get some guys out here as well. So, what's it been like training with Devontae? Obviously, you guys go way back, but then you also had to fight each other in the UFC. Uh, how has how have things been since then? Yeah, I mean, it, it was funny. Like it, it, it definitely took us a minute to like not get over. We've been talking a little bit, but it took us a minute to like kind of get back. But it's 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 cool though. Like he he's like a younger version of me. Like that's we always joke about it and shit. Like you know he reminds me of myself a lot. Um, so yeah, so it, so it's really nice to like get like a young, freakishly powerful UFC caliber fighter, dynamite in his hands, speed, athleticism and stuff. So it's it, it's been great to have him. And then like having Nick Brown and stuff as well. So it's, it's a lot of different styles and stuff, and a lot of heavy heavy hard hour rounds and stuff. A lot of stuff that's to make cool. me have to think. Yeah, I think that's so cool that you guys can, you know, fight each other and then still uh, help each other uh, going forward, which is awesome. Um, how long oh, have you yeah. been? How, how long have you been in Vegas at Syndicate? How long was the camp out there? Uh, I've, I've been out here for about um, what about? I've been out here for this week, and I'll be here for this weekend. I'm just 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 one week, just to just to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. You know, I I, I hate getting comfortable. I I mean, I think that's the worst thing you can do as a fighter is get comfortable. So. Just, 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 this is just a little bit of a little shock to the system, just to get me out of the comfort zone, you know, get my get my brain understanding that we're in a fight and fight camp and stuff, you know, no kids, none of that, not taking care of the gym, and then I'll come back next week, finish up my camp. Um, I'm gonna get some work with Nick. I might get some work with Devonte. So, finish up myself, my coaches back home and stuff, and then it'll be fight week. Who, who have you had a chance to work with the syndicate? Who have been some of your training partners? Um, pretty much anybody. Um, I, I, my man, Brandon, uh, 
he's the guy I, I talk with him all the time, right? So, yeah, like we talk all the time. That's my buddy. So I I always get word with him. There's another guy, Will. Um, uh, there's a couple of couple other guys. I mean, just whoever, who really like whoever has so many good guys and stuff. So like, I'm actually on my way to go spar right now. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> like gotcha. whoever whoever asks for work, I I love it. It's a lot. It's a good. It's good. That's a good thing to get so many different looks and so many up and coming young fighters and stuff like so it's it's good good feel who's going to be in your corner for this fight uh my head coach uh master wifeing and my little brother man so i'm like i'm like i'm trying to like uh like sw- I, I i've been switching things up a lot like i've been adjusting a lot like uh when it comes to like coaching and everything and mindset to approach into the fight so I mean, like, I, I'm like, I don't want to overstress things. Don't want to make things too stressful. Kind of enjoy the moment. So I like having my little brother in my corner. He's an asshole, and he gets straight to the point. <laughs> so I like I like that. Then my head coach, and, like, I think one of my buddies, he's like, oh, can I come and be your corner? I'm not like, yeah, whatever, man. But like, I, I, I really need just, like, one or two people in my corner. I don't really need a whole bunch of information. Yeah. Um, and do you like the fact that, like, you're fighting the hometown guy? Like, you're going into Tennessee – you get to spoil the party. Do you do you enjoy that? Oh hell yeah, man! I mean, like I mean, I, I see like you know like, he, he's um he's that he's that guy where he's at. You know what I mean? Like and he's hot, and he's banging, he's knocking people out, and everyone's like, oh, you know. But I mean, like I'm just like, listen, dude. There's there's more there's, there's more to fighting than that. So I mean, hopefully uh, he'll take this L and he, and he'll learn how to how learn how to progress past and stuff. But uh. Yeah, I, I I mean like I think nowadays young fighters they have to learn that this is a it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, yeah. a lot of people you'll see people get to you and see like oh they got like, oh, that's fine that's cool. I'm like but that's like one in like every couple like in reality of it you're just marathon to get there. Yeah, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing to stay. And I know even you you had a very long journey to get to the UFC. It wasn't you know five fights and a contender series win and you're on there right. So right, right, exactly. I mean like you'll see a lot of guys that do that there and you realize oh shit like now you now it's only going to the road's only going to get harder you know what i mean like that's the last thing so i or you like get there and you realize that oh i haven't been really properly prepared to get here and stuff so i mean that's that's what this fight's all about i have to just show them that there's just just levels to this organized crime shit (laughs) how's this fight playing out on august 13th Oh, I mean, like I said, I, I think he's, he it's hard. I, I definitely got to respect that and stuff, but I'm better than him literally at every every place. I can out grapple him. I can take him down. I can sub him. I can I can outbox him. I can go toe to toe, bite down my mouthpiece, and and punch power with him. So I, I don't I don't see him being able to beat me. Like again, I don't look past him, but I think in the past I've also given people a little too much credit, and I I I, still, I do believe that I'm one of the best fighters in the world, and I can compete with people on a world class level. So if I think that and I know that, then that means I have to be able to take guys like this and just completely get rid of them and move on. So that's what I'm gonna have to do, and that's how the plan is gonna be. Like it doesn't have to be a violent knockout, but it, it definitely has to be a statement made. I mean, I think I've been doing that my last couple of fights, but my last guys were. Like they were, they were like they were looking to looking looking to use me as a come up. You know what I mean? I guess you can say like like the first guy that I fought, that was his definitely thing. He thought he was going to whoop my ass, and then the the guy after that, uh, you know, he had just fought and he had beat Kimbo Slice Jr. and he thought that made him like really good or something. And he his thought was his thought, but I just, but I had to just make people understand like there's there's definitely levels to this fight game. After this, not looking past August 13th, is it just keeping, you know, one fight at a time kind of, you know, because you get a win here, especially another finish, that'll be three in a row. And that, that's, you know, the type of stuff that I'm sure the UFC is looking at when they want to bring someone back in. Yeah, I mean, like, um, I'm, I, 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 I've been saying I'm all about whoever's paying. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Whoever's paying the most. I'm fucking, I turned 36 in October. So uh, it, it's not really about, I mean, I fought for the UFC. I'll, I'll, if I want to, if I get back there, then I get back there or Whoever, but really, it's about we're prize fighters, and I fight for whoever has the biggest prize. So, for me, it's just one fight at a time. Get the wins, keep pushing. I got, I got a couple, at least three or three or three or four more years left of fighting. So, I'm gonna make sure I dedicate my all to it and go from there. And still making time for interviews, comma. Really appreciate it, man. If there's anyone you want to thank, sponsor, social media, you name it, I'll give you the last word. 
Um, no, I think all my, my family, of course, um, um, I went at my gym, all my training partners and stuff, um, my sponsors, uh, let me see, um, Olympus Gyros, um, uh, shit, I'm the worst for sponsors, remember, uh, um, Fountain Life, uh, my man Smitty, my, my, my massage therapist, uh, and, uh, who else, uh, shit, uh, you're probably posting on uh, your re- social media restore. though, right? Can, yeah, yeah, I do, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean forgetting people though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. If they go to your social media, all the sponsors are there. They'll get there. Yeah, you out, right? go there. That star underscore one. Go ahead, follow me. See my journey and stuff, and uh, check it out. 